Howdy folks and welcome back to World of Motion. Now today's example is a clock. Yes, literally a clock. And I hope you will have some educational value from this solution and maybe a laugh and I will show you why. So why a clock? This example shows a clock. And what is a clock? Beneath all those dials and needles which represent seconds, hours and minutes there is some mechanics and there is also some electronics. So idea here is to take this mechanics and remove it completely and to use for the each needle servo motor. Now if you remove the mechanics you will make your machine lighter, faster, more productive. And I want to show you that this is possible based on one information, like in a clock, and it's this oscillator which provides accurate time. And I will use, in this example, a real-time clock. So what do we have? Now I will show you what we will see in this example. We will see first hardware configuration, PLC program, and we will tested. So hardware. We will use for this example Codesys PLC run with latest version of Codesys. On this PLC we will have Ethercad bus and then our Ethercad servo drives. For hours it's going to be integrated drive. For minutes we will use Lexium 32M and for seconds we will use Lexium 32 integrated. Now, do you want to see something really funny? Of course you do. Now you will see Codesys program and on the right lower corner you see my clock. Yeah, it's funny. So I printed out the dials and I also have some copper bar, copper wire for my needles. When we see this, we'll go now through the program. First I have on Ethercat all my three drives and scaling and everything else I will leave to you. Else what we have are virtual encoders which we will use in a program. I will show you what it is about. Then we have a program which is separated in five pieces. So first, we have the part where we run the drive and the most important part is where we read system time in high resolution, that means in milliseconds. Then we have part where we read some status and so on. After that, we are in clock data calculation. So here we calculate how many milliseconds is there in one day, in a current day, and because of this recording in winter time, I'm adding additional hour because this real-time clock is UTC and we are in CET time. After that, we are feeding this information to our virtual encoders. Now, we also have cams, which are literally a straight line, because what we will do now is use camming on drives based on cam profiles, where master is going to be virtual encoder and the slaves are going to be our drives. Also here we have certain blocks which help us prepare and then we have the procedure. So how procedure is going? Procedure is homing the drives to zero position. Then we prepare all the drives to the next minute and then when next minute starts in zero second the clock starts to run. Now, 
you will see here I loaded the program and now everything is green everything is running and with variable start clock we start the sequence so here in virtual encoder you can see at the moment actual time in milliseconds to say additional information PLC is also synchronized with NTP server to a actual time we will see how this works afterwards so now we will start the clock and you will see the procedure of going to zero and preparing for the next minute now let's switch this view here you can see that clock is in fact in standstill seconds are not moving and we can see our virtual encoder on smaller screen that it's around 30 seconds now and it's moving towards the start of the next minute i also prepared my mobile phone which shows actual time and the red dot shows actual seconds so you can see that it's synchronized because phone and plc are synchronized with the same ntp server when the red dot on the phone crosses upper zero position the clock will start to run and here you see now at this point it's very hard to notice hours it's a little bit less hard to notice that minute dial is moving and now i will try to run this video a little bit faster to make one minute less and if you go back to minute 615 from the end of this video you will see the difference in minutes and also you will see the difference a slight difference in our needle so let's run this a bit faster now here it is i think it the minute needle is visible let's slow it down that's it check it out thank you very much i hope you had fun bye Thank you.